All right, we're watching Kate's Above Water Freestyle. So real quick, we're going to talk about her breathing here. We're going to see how much her goggles come out of that water. Okay, we kind of see you have both heads out of the water, but you're really looking more up. Like your hand position here, your elbow position there, and that's so good. But we're going to work on that freestyle breath. Your right side looks decent, but you can get that one goggle and make it a little bit easier. But then we look at your left side here. Oh, we got another right arm. Let's go. Let's go back a little bit further. All right, you can kind of see when your left arm as you breathe, you're looking straight up, and your hand is pointing straight up. Make sure you look more out to the side. When we talk about sneaking a breath and just having one goggle come out of the water. The reason why we want one goggle is we want you looking more to the side of the pool. When you look up, you're almost taking yourself and putting yourself on your back on that freestyle. And we definitely don't want to come onto the back on the freestyle breath. We'll make it as quick as we can be. We'll make it as quick as we can be and make sure that your head's looking more to the side. As we come in, you can see with your right hand, you can kind of see again where the right side, you can see where it just kind of drives down, almost straight down to the bottom as you come off. So, your left arm, or your right arm is so good, it's that right arm that just drives straight down. And my apologies, I get a little bit confused sometimes with the right and the left as we're looking here. See how deep your hand is right away, okay? Straight down, but again, watch this right arm. Right arm's perfect, Kate. We do like how you have good high elbows. A little late on that breath. You want to start your breath right here, okay, which is good. But you want that breath to stop right there. That's where you want that breath to be, okay? Can I continue on? And that hand is such a good job of driving forward. Get your head down a little bit quicker. So get your head down a little, get your head up a little bit quicker, and get your head down a little bit quicker. Okay? And that's going to help you out. Got to work on that kick. Make sure we're not going side by side with your ankles. Make sure your legs are just nice and steady. Definitely don't want to breathe that last stroke in that wall. And again, you kind of see your knees are really high. And you turn over almost immediately. You want to come off that wall a little on your back and then just gradually turn over to your stomach. The more gradually you are with that turn, the better off you're going to be. Again, good job of not breathing right off the stroke. But right here where your head starts to break the surface, that's when that hand should start coming out of the water as well. So we got to work on that breakout on the other side of it. The hand coming a little bit better. If you get that hand out of the water a little bit earlier, it's going to be absolutely perfect and right where we want to see it. Okay? Again, good high elbows. Again, you kind of see a little bit of a pause there on that breath. And it's on the left side. So right there, pause. A little bit too long breath. You want to make it a quick breath and then head back down, okay? If you can get that head down a little bit quicker from there, that's going to be great. Kate, really, I mean, you're, you're two little fixes away from making that freestyle so much better. So well done. Keep it up, the hard work. Uh, we love it.